Welcome to the day in the life of a data analyst working from home in the UK. My name's Toby from Toby's Data Digest and I've been working as a data analyst coming up on two years now. And this is what I do in a typical day. Soon I'll be starting at a new company, so this is only my role as it stands. What I would do first of all is log into my laptop. I like to have a nice clicky keyboard, the clickier the better, a second monitor and a good mouse. That's all you need. Once I've logged on and grabbed my coffee, then I'd look at my tasks for that day. I like to keep a to-do list and there's many different ways to do this. Anything from a notes pad to a Word document and anything in between. Now, various tasks I may be completing during the day could include setting up a survey or analyzing the results from that survey to understand our customer base, employers, employees or competitors, I could also be analysing data from a SQL Server, such as Microsoft SQL Server. Perhaps I've pulled data the previous day from the internet on Python. Using this, I will compare our data within our company to that of the market. The data I work with can typically be sales data. It can be anything from the number of customers we've had month by month. Typically, I would just use Excel to get the majority of my work done. That means creating pivot tables and reports fully built out. If I wanted to present that back to a group of stakeholders in a presentation, I would jump straight into Power BI. There, I can create visually and interactively a very nice dashboard to show off the KPIs to our stakeholders. Later on in that day, I may be helping co-workers with various tasks, such as fixing up a bit of Python, Excel or otherwise. A lot of my day will be cleaning data. That's the majority of my job as a data analyst. How do I clean the data? Again, normally in Excel, but also in the SQL queries. When I pull a data from our in-house database, I want to make sure I'm getting all the right columns, naming them in the right way, filtering it beforehand, and most importantly, checking it's what the stakeholder requires. This is actually the most important part of my role. I'll put on screen now the data analysis lifecycle and these are all the steps you should bear in mind and follow. The biggest downfall I had in the start of my career is just not following the exact criteria. Perhaps in a database you're including multiple unique IDs and reporting them as multiple people when they are unique. So you're not counting distinct. You want to check that beforehand. What is the exclusion and or the inclusion criteria? Do you not want to look at certain stores? Are there some locations you want to look at in particular? Some things may not be within your domain context. That is the business expertise. Let me show on screen now a typical data cleaning task that I would partake in. What I would do first of all is change all the column sizes. But let's add a filter to the school column here. And let's have a look at some of the names. You can see there are two here. If I wanted to add one and two next to those, what I could do is create an initial column, insert new column, school num, and for all the Gabriel schools, call them school one, and then for all other, call them school two. Now, in this case, that's not particularly something that's quite necessary, but in other cases, that may be an activity you would like to perform. Say also, for example, I only wanted the first letter of the school name to identify what the school was, G or M. What I could do is split the column into another. Doing here, hex two columns. We'll do it by fixed width, and that fixed width will be the very first letter. Finish. What I may want to do is say there was a column which had a unique identifier, say one, two, three, four, five, and so forth, go into here and remove those duplicates as such. Now, another thing I may want to do in my data analysis cleaning is exclude certain criteria. For example, I may not want to look at anyone who studied from home or their reason to choose the schools from home. And as such, I would remove all those students. So we've excluded duplicates, changed the columns, added in some unique IDs and deduped them. We've also gone here and now finally, one other thing I'll demonstrate before we go is changing yes and no to say something else. So I'll select the entire data set here and I'll replace wherever it says yes with yep. 
Now, this isn't something I'd likely want to do, but let's replace all. You can see, however, it's something you'd be able to do. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this day in life and all the very best.